welcome to Colme University's ClickUp Function in a Flash, where in every episode, we show you a different function for ClickUp's Advanced Formula Editor. Hi, I'm Kyle Moynihan. I'm an MBA in international business, and I have run projects all over the world. I have two years working with ClickUp, and I've helped clients implement ClickUp across the globe. Today, we are going to talk about one of my favorite functions, which is the if function. So just to tell you a little bit about the if function, it's basically used to build conditional logic in ClickUp. And you do that by basically saying, if this is true, do X, otherwise do Y. Um, the syntax is rather simple. It's if, open parentheses, the logical expression or the condition, uh, comma, the true part, the value if the statement is true, comma, the false part. So uh, if you look at this example, uh, you might recognize that from a previous ClickUp function in a Flash video, which we will take a look at right here. Here we have these two widgets. Uh, one widget has a list price of $30, one, list one widget has a list price of $20. And if we look at this if statement, it is exactly as we just saw in the presentation. If the list price is greater than 25, comma, true statement, then show that it's expensive, comma, false statement. Otherwise, show that it is cheap. Now, today, what I want to show you is something slightly more complex. If you have multiple, you can have multiple nested if statements in your advanced formula editor in your if statement. Um, and if statements can contain other functions. Also, all if statements must have all three parts of the syntax, the condition, the true part, and the false part. So let's take a look at a more advanced example. Let's say I have three different projects here. And each one of these projects has a different deadline. You can see on the bottom right-hand corner of my screen that today is July 28th. So for these projects, we have one due tomorrow, July 29th, one due on August 5th, and one due on August 12th. And so what I would like is an indicator that shows me if I'm within a certain range of the deadline, I would like to see some kind of indication of that. So now let's build that in our advanced formula editor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with an if statement. Now, recall that my logical expression is if the due date is X amount of days away from today, then, and then we'll start building out our true and false statements. So in order to get that, the difference between the deadline or the due date and today is we're going to use the days function. The days function is a very simple function. Here you can see it returns the number of days between two dates. It's inside the parentheses of the function. It is uh, the end date, comma, space, the start date. That's to say the later date first. So now, with my if statement, open parentheses, then the days function, open parentheses, I'm going to say the due date, because that's the later date, comma, space, and remember, we're talking about from today. So we're going to use the today function, which in and of itself is a very simple function. As you can see, it's just today, and then you open and close the parentheses. And now we're going to add another closing parentheses because that's the end of our days function. That will now calculate the difference between the due date and today. So now when that number of days between these two dates is greater than, let's say, 12. So this is now our condition or our logical expression. If the number of days between today and the due date is greater than 12, comma, space, then what? I'm going to open some quotations and I'm going to choose a smiley face emoji. 
and then I'm going to close those uh, quotations. Because remember, quotations go around text, and emojis are considered text. Now, I'm going to do a comma. And this is where I would generally do my false statement. But instead of a false statement here, I'm going to do a nested if statement. If, open parentheses, and now I'm just going to take my already created logical expression, and I'm going to copy and paste it just to save myself a little bit of typing. And now I'm going to say, if it's greater than five, I am going to give us this somewhat worried face. And that parenthesis, comma. And I am going to make another nested if statement, paste that logical expression. And this I'm going to change to if it's less than or equal to five, then I'm going to give us the siren alarm. And I need to close those quotations. Now, I'm done building this. These are the three conditional statements I want this if statement to look at. But you need to recall that in this equation, I have never used a false statement, a statement in, as false. I've only, in its place, used that place to, to put in a nested if statement. But we do need a false statement to complete the um, equation. And we don't have one because we've already covered all of the possible scenarios. It's either greater than 12, greater than five, or it's less than or equal to five. So we need to say for our false statement, there's nothing, it's null. So the way that we just signify null in ClickUp is we open and close a quotation with nothing in between, that's null. And now to finish this off, we need to close the if statement. But remember, there's not just one if statement, there are three. Three closed parentheses, and now we're ready to calculate. And as you can see, the due date that is less than five days away gets the siren. The due date that is more than five days away gets the worried face. And the due date that is more than 12 days away gets the happy face. So that is if. One important part about if is, uh, as you can see from the example, because if statements can and often do contain other functions and or nested if statements, be extremely meticulous with your parentheses. Make sure you count how many open parentheses you have and that you make sure that you close them off when each one of those respective expressions is uh, complete. Thank you very much for watching Coleman University's Function in a Flash, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.